Um, hello, my name is uh, Jorge Alberto Canales, and this is the Chevron trainer we worked on for almost a week. We used, for the electrical, we used a five-prong plug, which is connected to the, the three fuses, and it's uh, wired up to a step-down transformer. Okay, um, we should be getting uh, 208 voltage in the fuses and in the step uh, in the transformer, and I'm going to check voltages on the, on the fuses. We should be getting uh, 208. 208, cross this ones, 208 and 208. The, it also comes to the step down transformer, which is right here, 208, here into the fuse. Well, it, now it's stepped it down to 120. Because that's, that's the voltage required. My name is Daniel Lozano and I'm going to explain the PLC. Here we have a MicroSmart 16 iDeck PLC. It's got 16 IOs. Um, right here we have 9 inputs available and 7 outputs available down here. Uh, it uses 120 volts AC and it has a relay output this type and um, it's got a on this side, down here, it's got an analog potentiometer that uh, moves the timer. Right now, we downloaded a program from the computer that has a five-second timer for the motor. And that's it. Uh, we're going to be ch showing you the white, uh, the three-phase motor, which is uh, white connected, and um, it's a uh, dual voltage. Uh, it's uh, 1,745 RPMs, the uh, three-phase motor. I'm going to turn on the three-phase uh, three motor, and uh, I'm going to check the voltage from line one to line, line two. Once I press the button, it's, gonna, it's, it's got a five-second delay, so it should start in right now. Line one and line, line two. And the meter should read about 206 volts, which is doing right there. Um, this is a, uh, how we check the voltage on a two-phase motor, and um, after this we just turn it off. I'm Edgar Reyes, and here's the um, schematic that Sherman gave us. Me and my teammates have wired it. Okay. Right here we have the, the, the fuses that run, that, that will have a uh, 220. From there, it's going to go down to the contactor, and from there to the overload. From the contactor, we're going to get to the suppressor, which goes to the transformer, and that's going to drop out the voltage to 220 to 120. Okay. So it can work just because the PLC needs 120 to work. From that transformer, from one transformer, we're going to drop it down here to 120, and we're going to get the from 120, right? We're going to 120 to report the, the PLC. To work, to work the push buttons and turn on the motor. Okay, as my my teammates told you that the why the the push button it has a five time a five time delay, which turn on the motor. See if you turn on the contactor or it turned on. And we have a we have an off push button to turn on the the motor. Uh, this this uh, wiring took us to wire all this to like two or three days of, of the week. And we work hard to do this, and we're going to do a pretty good job, and hopefully you all like this presentation.